Okay, Curtis, let's see how we're doing. On a scale of one to four, with four being an extreme level of discomfort, what is your level of discomfort with using a public restroom? Four. Telling a waiter the food is inadequate? Four. Asking for a refund? Four. This isn't working, is it? Curtis, can I ask you one last question? You've had this social phobia since you've been six. So it puzzles me. Why did you decide to paint in public? You probably think of artists as gentle creatures, but we're not. Paintings are very quiet, but everything and everyone is competing with them. Those are my dogs right there. I tell stories about how things work. The green dogs always win, the blue dogs lose, every time. When I first started painting, I was shy, painfully shy. The world pretty much looked like some cold place in hell. I didn't talk much, and when I did, nobody listened. My painting spoke for me. It wasn't just the only vocation I could ever imagine, it was my only voice. I began to crave the thing I feared the most, an audience. Now remember, this is just a study. Not everyone experiences the mood changes they desire. I want to put your authorization on some of this paperwork. This will verify that the medical history you gave us is true. You're not taking any of the drugs or medication, and you agree, for the next 12 weeks, you will not drink any alcoholic beverages. They paid me 50 bucks a night to paint in a club downtown. It was terrifying. At first, people were drawn to the bright colors, but they missed the subversive messages completely. Even when I put fangs on the bad green doggies, they saw puppies. What's this about? Life, capitalism. Green dogs are the upper class, they always win. The blue dogs are the workers, they always lose. And what about this one? If my heart's smashed against the wall and that old broken down piece of furniture is what's left of me. Oh, I like the dogs. It's not wallpaper, you know. <laughs> I know that. Here you are. Um, in the jar, because of hands. No problem. Thank you. Sure. I wish I could paint. I can't even draw a straight line. So do you give lessons? No. Not for free. I'd pay you. Maybe, um, it's gonna cost you 137. That's awfully specific. So is my electric bill. Here's my card. Call me. A beautiful woman is a lot like a painting. We understand intuitively that attention is energy. Attention is power. Some people are just born green dogs. Huh? Yeah, I have the contracts right here. Uh, 51 Crunchy Crust Donuts available by September 1st. Otherwise, the escrow money goes to the lesser. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to read the contracts more thoroughly, but... I think that we're down to about five deal points. Letter of intent, proof of financing, signage right, yeah. It's all negotiable. Great. Mm -hmm. Ciao. Stephanie was a total green dog. Hey. Hey. I had to up my dosage just to take her up in the lesson. But I had my first patron. <laughs> I'll think about it. Why don't you sit up over here? Okay. I'll be right in. Sure. 
That's Carla. Don't get paint on her. Okay. Come here. Yeah, do you want to be a blue doggy or a green doggy? Hmm? Oh, must be a green doggy. Huh? I bought a model for it. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. How about something like this? Yeah, that's that's fine. It's uh, well, we should just uh, we should start. Okay. Start with the windows. Uh, get your composition set first. That's good. I really love that. I just want to. Of course, I told her she had talent. Learning to draw is just learning to see. The hard part would come later once you'd have to find something to say. Still, I have to admit, I really liked giving her lessons. I guess you'd have to say that lesson inspired her too. Yeah. Hey, um, what kind of problem? Well, it's a self-portrait, and I don't know, it's not working out. The, the arms are like cylinders, and I really wanted to paint something more red. Red's fine. Um, yeah, well, I could really use some help over here. I, I don't know, have you got any ideas? I, um, yeah, but I, I'd, really have to, I'd have to see it first. Would you, I mean, do you want me to come over? No, sure, it's, uh, yeah, that's fine, I just, um, I mean, I don't sleep anyway, so... <laughs> Nightmares about green dogs taking over? No, um, it's, uh, I'm in second grade, and my teacher tells everybody that I'm being held back a grade because I don't talk. I mean, you know, that's it, it's just, uh, I just keep having it over and over again. You'd have to be an artist to understand that some painting emergencies just can't wait till morning. On the other hand, I'd have gone over there okay, for a glass okay, of water. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm coming right over, all right?
that was wonderful. Yeah, I gotta go. Um, we'll talk later. On a scale of one to four, what's your level of discomfort with eating in public? Two. Using a public restroom? One. Asking for a refund? Zero. I didn't hear from her for a week. Called her house a couple of times, but she wasn't home. I didn't feel like leaving a message. I was surprised because for the first time she seemed to get it. What I was about, what the dogs were about. She seemed drawn to it. I was glad I gave her the book because she could locate my work in a respected school and I thought that would be important to her. You probably think I shouldn't expect to have a woman like Stephanie, right? People are like that. They think artists aren't ambitious because we don't have day jobs. Well, well, you'd be wrong. I'm planning to be in the 1% of artists that becomes known. My mission is to change the whole fucking world. What's your mission? Hi. Stop by. Um, I wanted to bring you this. It's, um, it's thicker than what we were using. It works better with a knife. I thought you might want to try. Oh. Well, uh, thank you. Sorry I didn't call you this week. I just um, had a lot of stuff going on. Did you work on your painting? Actually, I think we're finished with the painting lessons for a while. Really? I'm, I'm surprised. You were, you're doing very well. I don't, I don't think you should stop. Oh, I'm not going to stop painting. I've just been thinking that maybe I'd like to explore a new style. You know, maybe one that's not as thick. Thick? Yeah. Do you know Rothko? His paintings are so smooth. He's incredible, really. I know Rothko. I just, I just don't spend a lot of time looking at traditional art. I don't want to be influenced. It's just like music. It's like you feel when you, when you hear something really beautiful, like, like Bach, and lyrics would just ruin it. That's all he's got, his color. He doesn't have anything else. That he uses hundreds of layers of gel glazes. I mean... Look at this. Yellow orange, yellow red, yellow and orange. It's amazing. He's my boyfriend's favorite painter. Okay, I'll be leaving. Um, I just gotta get my stuff. Where'd you put it? I don't understand why you're making such a big deal about this. I paid you for the lesson. <laughs> I was the one who told her about the modeling classes. Now she thought she could do it on her own. Still, that first lesson couldn't have been easy. See that guy on the left? Bernie. He's been drawn out here every weekend for 12 years. Can I buy this from you? and there's nothing funny about it. I didn't know what kind of dog you really are. At least Scarlet is a sentient being. This is emergency police, fire, or medical? Police. Scarlet, baby, where'd you go? Come here, honey. 
She told them all about the dog and didn't even mention the mural. Which was pretty good. Then the police showed up at my place like I was some kind of freak. Still, it gave me a great idea for my next show. Preserving her virtue. Jesus. Jesus, you are really fucking with me. Just started with a concept. Curtis, you need to leave me and my dog alone. Out of your life, out of your pictures. I don't need to do anything, Stephanie. This is a personal issue. Yeah. And this kind of crap is not going to help. Oh, so you, you do have something to say. Huh? Watch painting. You can call your series Women Who Like What Their Rich Boyfriends Are. What you do with the fucking painting lesson? I think you should stop blaming other people for your failure to communicate. taking these fucking pills. Okay, Curtis, you're in charge. What do you plan to do the next time you have an anxiety attack? Paint? I was feeling pretty good until I saw the street outside my house. Stephanie had been there. Now I should have been offended, but I was her teacher, so I was also pleased. It was her first real work of art. The roadkill was supposed to be artists. Can you see the little paintbrushes? I mean, they're not quite proportionate. The whole thing is a little tight, but it was still a good effort. Passionate but crude, like me. The real trouble was she stood to get a lot of media attention. I mean, they wouldn't know if she was a vandal or a stalker or some kind of visionary. I respected that, but I knew that whether I continued to teach her or to oppose her, she would become even better known. Maybe better known than me. And that could mean contracts with galleries and clients. My clients. I had to wonder, if the green dogs all started painting, what would the future hold for me? I'd love to be able to paint. Are you an artist? Yeah. That would be so cool. Do you give lessons? 